All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vyond Deza, where U.S. President Joe Biden's massive relief plan appears to be on track to crossing the finish line with a final vote that is to take place. This, of course, is going to offer a bit of a lifeline for millions of Americans who are living in the aftermath and also the effect of the economic collapse brought about due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The U.S. House of Representatives voted on Tuesday to advance the $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief bill that the House voted 219 as against 210 to advance the bill to a final debate and vote. No Republicans voted in favor of the bill. If it reaches his desk, Joe Biden, of course, will sign the historic bill into a law by the end of this week. The passage of the massive package will, of course, give Joe Biden and the Democrats a major legislative victory less than two months since taking charge in the top office in America. It's a remarkable, historic, transformative piece of legislation which goes a very long way to crushing the virus and solving our economic crisis. In the 33 years that I have been in Congress and up until now, the Affordable Care Act has been the most consequential legislation that I have been a part of. This is definitely on a par with that, if not to exceed it in terms of its impact on many more uh, poor people in our country. The Biden's plan narrowly cleared the Senate last weekend after alterations to the version approved earlier by the House. The House is now expected to approve the legislation without further changes and solely with the support of Democratic votes. The bill funds COVID vaccine distribution and research and also intends to pour billions of dollars into state and local governments. The bill also includes $1,400 checks for all but the highest earning adults in the country. Now, the unemployed will continue to get the $300 support per week on top of the state assistance. State and city governments will be getting about $350 billion to help them recover from the pandemic. Besides, the bill has also set aside nearly about $130 billion for schools in America. But Republicans have broadly supported the economic relief bill early in the coronavirus pandemic, continue to argue that aid is not well targeted. They've criticized the price tag of the relief package and have said that it is simply too large and does not sufficiently target the Americans who actually are in most need of the money. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.